<laughs> hey everybody, how are you? Oh, Kim awesome. here. Hey, Jamie Fitzpatrick here. I wore my I wear my Mickey shirt. I love the Mickey shirt. I know there's Disney fans on here. Yeah. So. There we go. Ow, oh, I got we're good. Oh, I'm good. Okay, I gotta get centered. Happy right. Monday. My ergonomics was not cool. Okay. This is the uh yeah, it's the first post for this week for the group. So I know, excited. We are gonna bring it. <laughs> we are getting ready for the call. <laughs> Yeah, we Does were. Tony Robbins do that? Can you guys hear us okay? I see some people hopping on. I yeah. hope so we can see comments. Just some hearts and some likes if you can see it. I hope we can see comments. I know. I hope so too. Because you never know. I know. With Facebook oh, It's live. so true. I don't know. I don't think we can see any. So we may just have to rock and roll. Just go? Okay. We Let's see. Oh, yeah. Ah! Ah, why does it do that? I don't know. That's okay. We Someone don't... tell us why it does that. I don't know, but let's, let's, let's dive into this. We're ready guys. We're ready. We're excited and we can't respond to you, but we will. So yes, I'm interested. This girl before this girl, Kim, my wife, this girl with this topic was fired up for the past yes. hour talking about, yes. you'll probably hear more from her on this video than me. Cause this is like, hey, Jess. not a passion of yours, but well, you're really good at this part of the business. Well, thank you. That being said, but like. You're passionate about this because your empathy and your uh, the care you give to the conversation is pretty cool right. to watch, and I, I get to see that. it all, all the time. Yeah. So, and that's that's part of this, right? Yeah. Like when you get in these conversations, hey Melissa, when you get in these conversations, um, it is kind of like someone's interested now in a challenge pack yeah. in your group, or but, they're interested in what you wrote. Or yes. they're interested in your picture, or they're yeah. interested in what? What are they interested in? That's where we need to be little investigators, and right? And it's almost, I don't even like using the term, because we don't use this term like closing or anything right. like that, because that's a very... It's illegal. It's illegal. In my head. It's a very salesy term, but there is a process to this where they have to complete yeah. the order. Right. And I think what I like to use and what words I like to use with that is you're going to successfully help them change their life, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of times I think people think, oh my gosh, someone's interested. I've sold a challenge pack. Where in real actuality, that could take anywhere from an hour, a day, 48 hours, 72 hours. Sometimes it's up to eight weeks. It just depends on where people are at in their journey, right? So yeah. we wanted to really preface, preface that the I'm interested with this is a process, Right? Yeah, I think you have to go into each conversation, and trust me, I know you get a lot of conversations. Yeah. You have to go into each conversation with the notion mm -hmm. that this is going to be a long-term relational process. Yes. It's not transactional. Yeah. You have to go in with this mindset. Yes. It's a relational process, and as you said, relationship building can take a while. It can, and it is, and it's really about, it's our job as coaches and as, as relationship builders to find out what people's pain points are. And when someone says, I'm interested, it means something in their life has to change, or I'm ready for a change, or I need some hope in my life. That's what that means. When someone says, I'm interested, how I interpret that personally is I need help. Yep. I want help. I need a solution. I need something different because what's happening in my life right now isn't working. And that is where you connect. Personal equals universal, guys. Write that down. Personal equals universal. Personal equals no, universal. True. So the more personal you are in relation to someone saying I'm interested. Yep the more you are going to have success. But here's what the best part is. The more you will be successful as a coach to get that person results because you are invested. Mm. And you have to be invested in order for people to understand that yes, this is the right, you are the right person for them to help them on you, their journey. Because that's what this is, right? Yeah, I, th I think first and foremost, and you and I, and we, you and we I each go through. can't see your comments, guys. Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to get for the new ones that have jumped on. We will be responding back after. We can't see comments. Our apologies. Facebook Live. What's going on? With this? Um, I think you and I actually, we don't really do things differently, but hey, I'm mm -hmm. a guy, you're a girl. We connect differently with people yeah. sometimes. Um, I think you and I I, would, I say, hey, girl. Yeah, I do not say that. It does <laughs> not come across well for me. But I think the first thing you and I do Obviously, yep. I hope everyone does this, is you go to their, 
we do a lot of our business through Facebook. You're getting actually more into Instagram and stuff too, but yep. you go to their page and like, that's your first investment in them. It is. Your first investment is going to their page and learning and gathering yeah. what you can about them. And yeah. listen, like I think Katie had commented on it from the national wake up call this morning. Um, it's like, you can get so much information, right? It's you go to that mom yeah. who there's no pictures of the mom. It's just yeah. all kids. At the end of the day, you have to also remember you're not selling a challenge pack. You are supporting and potentially offering an opportunity. You are providing hope. You are providing a change. And the more that you understand that it isn't about the money, that it is about really this safe, supportive group and community you have created, that's your gift to them, right? That's the excitement. And here's the, what I recommend. And here's what I always, always talk about is that your challenge group has to match your message. So if you are telling, I tell people, are you ready for magic? <laughs> I'm serious. And fairy dust, no, but, and unicorns, <laughs> but are you ready to be so supported? Are you ready to, for us to show up in your life every day? Are you ready for that? Because here's the thing, if you sell, let's say we sell, if you promote, if you speak passionately about what you're offering and you're under delivering, that also is a problem, right? It could be, potentially. So what I recommend is that you match your message. Your message has to match what you offer, right? You have to be realistic. So for our new coaches that have smaller groups, give it your all. So that you can be honest and open in your, and transparent in your conversations that you are bringing it because you are, right? But here's the thing. If you are copying and pasting from group to group, from month to month with the same people, that's not going to really serve your business or serve your clients mm -hmm. either. And it won't serve you while you're speaking about the opportunity when someone says I'm interested. Because what will happen is you'll just fall into the same pattern, the same routine, and you need to make sure that you are growing as a leader, as a coach, and you need to bring the passion, you know? So here's what I know. When someone says I'm interested, that's when the work begins. You need to understand, again, guys, that this took take a long time, but you also have to understand we can't be data dumps. We can't be an infomercial. You have to connect, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I think first and foremost, it's like when you are connecting with people and talking to them, um, like Kim said, they're they're reaching out to you for yeah. a reason. Like something is broken yeah. or, you know, they need a change. So first and foremost, I kind of go into every conversation. I think you do like people are really fearful yeah. and the objections you get. And I know you get a lot of objections and listen, I know people have hard financial times. I really like, I get that. Like I'm a fan of practicality. I understand bills have to be yeah. paid. However, most people when it's regarding their health, which is the number one yeah. thing to take care of. Cause if you don't take care of that, you can't take care of the people you love. Absolutely. It's not about the money. Yeah, it's not. It's about fear, fear yeah. guys. So we we try to use the words like in our discussions and conversations, and we'll talk about specifically what we do, sort of do. It's like I like to use these trigger words of like when you're talking about your accountability group and you're talking about the program, you know, safe, mm -hmm. private, mm -hmm. support, judgment free, judgment free, empowering. It's secure. You know, yeah. we got you. Yeah. I am, not, I am in this with you. This is different. You're about yeah. to enter something that you've never attempted yeah. in your life. And it's going to be different yes. than anything else yeah. you've experienced before. Yeah. That's our accountability group. Absolutely. And, and you have to speak with this kind of a yeah. passion, guys. Because totally. they're... They're not buying a challenge pack, guys. They're buying they're, they're you, buying you. And, your, and your support and your community that you're creating. They're buying your tribe. Right? And your vibe attracts your tribe. They're, so the more honest you can be through that and you the more you can get them through that fear, you know, is is the key. And what we found really works, and a lot of you probably use that, is the feel felt found. You know, when they say, I'm interested, and you bam, you get an objection, I know I feel I felt the same way. You know, I really felt the same way. 
And here's how, here's what I did to discover mm -hmm. how I could get through that. Yeah. You know, I found that when I actually started using the containers, I actually was overeating. And I realized that so many of the spirals in my life was going on was because I was so out of control. And as soon as I used a system that made me feel in control, I found, honestly, that I literally could change my life and I could actually change my actions and I'm changing my result because I found something that worked for me. So I feel you, girl. Right? Yeah. I, it's, well, it's, it's coming from a, oh, what's the word? It's coming from an empathetic. Yeah. You're, you have to be an empathetic being because, guys, you guys know this. Like, yeah. People are in so much pain, and I'm not talking about physical pain, even though there's well, physical pain. Yeah. When you're carrying, tr trust me, you're carrying a burden. When I was pain. when I was 65 pounds overweight, my my one knee I had surgery on, it would just swell, and it was yeah. I was miserable. But that pain, you guys, is more emotional yeah. and mental, and you can't, you have to approach this conversation with an empathetic heart. Yeah. You have to. It can't be transactional. Yeah, exactly. And here's a couple take takeaways of how we do that. You have to get personal. And I said at the beginning of the team or the team, beginning of the call, personal equals universal. But here's the other thing. The more competent you become in delivering your message, the more confident you will become. The more confident you will become as a coach, right? So build your competence through your knowledge. What do you know? What are you 100% sure of? Mm -hmm. What don't you know? Go research on that, yeah. you know? But here's what I know. You need to know who you're talking to. You need to ask questions. You have to be a learner. Because if you become a learner, people become engaged with you. Because you are invested in them, and therefore they will be invested in you. The second thing I always do too is we do voice notes like crazy. I don't do them necessarily right away. We have a few text exchanged first, and then I will voice note them so they can hear my voice. What I've recently started doing is a Facebook video message <laughs> to my messengers, like through Messenger, where I say, girl, I'm so excited to support you. And I sometimes will say my feel, felt, found message via message to them. And that has changed the game and, and for and me. Sorry to interrupt. Maybe what we'll do is in the, if we can, I don't know if we can in the comments, but we'll post a little video of how, because it is, I'll if you're not you quite how sure how to do yeah. that yet, we'll show you how to do that. Yeah. It's pretty easy, but you have to, anyway. Yeah. So that's part of a couple of the things when people have been, I'm interested, you engage in conversation, you get personal, use your voice. They need to hear that you're excited, that you are engaged, that you are passionate. You know, use your face because they're going to be seeing a lot of that. And the more you can build their confidence in you, the more, again, competent you will become in helping them get the results that they need. And then also we use, do you want to, let's hop on a quick phone call. Let's have, you know, do you want to have a quick call? More and more and more. We're doing more and more. Do you want to have a quick call? You know, and that could be after the fifth to eighth touch. I've had with somebody mm -hmm. and then that's when they say, okay, you know what? I think I'm ready, you know? And at the end of the day, this is their journey. And if people are ready or people, then that's okay. I nagged you for a year mm -hmm. for a year because my pain point was your pain point. Mm -hmm. 65 pounds of stress and mm -hmm. burden and blood, blood, blood pressure medications. Yeah. And it was hard. Mm -hmm. But guess what happened when I stopped nagging you? You made the decision. Mm -hmm. We can't want this more than our potential clients want it. They have to want this. And if they want this, they'll be ready. But until they get over their fear, till they trust you enough, till they hear you say, listen, this is risk-free, at the end of the 30 days, you can roll it back and you know, you don't have to lead with that, yeah, but that's no, another no. But that's another option. That's another option that you can say, you know, especially when you're dealing with those types of objections. And it's really important, you know, to, I'm at a point with some of my conversations where people aren't even asking price. They're just like, I'm in, you know, and, and, but with the others, they are asking that, but it's, you have to speak with passion and empathy and connection in order for people to understand what solution you have for them because that's what they're looking for. Yeah. What's in it for me? Does it work? And how are you going to help me get my goals? They want to know that you're the, and that, yeah. that's where the price starts to yeah. almost be secondary. It does. Cause, yeah. Cause let's be honest, like, like 199 oh, yeah. us. Yeah. One, it's like, let's be honest. Yeah. Like, let's put that aside yeah. for a sec. They need to know that you are the person that's going to change the course yeah. of their life. 
And that's a big thing. Yeah, that's a huge thing. The one thing I wanted to follow up is what you said about when you're speaking to people, your your accountability group has to match your message. Yes. It has to live up to that. Yeah. You know what else has to match that? Oh, your posts. Yes, absolutely. Your Facebook How posts, you your Instagram up. posts. Because yeah. what do you think the first thing they're going to do as well? Like, yeah. I mean, they probably already looked at that at that point, yeah. but they're going to go research what you're posting. Yeah. Like, you better make sure that you're being authentic, you're showing who you are. Yeah. That's why it's always important we try to pull pieces of our accountability group and share yeah. that on our page. Yeah. Right? Like Absolutely. That's all like the... Poof. We do that almost daily. Yeah. yeah. So that that has to match your message as yeah. well, not only your accountability group. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and I, th I think at the end of the day, guys, when you get those words, I'm interested. I want more information. Get excited. You know? But don't put all your eggs in one basket right away because what happens is, st I remember this so vividly as a new coach. I'd like, Jamie, I have five people. And you're like, okay, you know, and maybe one would complete at the end of the month, right? Maybe. So I've been there. I've, we've been there. And I think you, the more you stay connected, the more you invite, the more you put yourself out there on social media, the more the I'm interested turn quite quickly because they already know you. They already feel like they understand what you offer, how you offer, that it works, that they can trust you, and that you are a real human being and not a robot, right? Because perfection isn't what this is about. This is about failing forward daily and sharing the journey together. And the more that you can do that, that comes across in your messages, that comes across when someone says, I think you're it for me, I think you're the coach that I need to help me get through my journey. And guess what else? That usually happens to also be the person that's going to join your team. So as you treat them with the respect, with the love, and you pour that into them as a client, they're learning from you how they're going to do that same thing yeah. for when they become a coach on your team. Yeah. And that's all part of that duplication process too, yeah. right? And and we all have different personalities mm -hmm. and we all we all work with people differently. Um, but that's part of it. Like yeah. every step you take in this business, yeah. you're teaching, showing, people are learning yeah, about what you're absolutely. doing. And and part of I know I know, even I get sick of hearing about consistency, but consistency is so huge in, in every facet of this yeah. business because even like you're posting on Facebook, it's like that's what that's what gets people interested in what you're yeah. doing. And if you're not being consistent, the people who potentially could be interested, they fall off the map because mm -hmm. they see you're not carrying it through all the yeah. way. Yeah, you know exactly. So you have to be all in. Uh, you have to be all in on your in your people. You have to be all in in your message. You know, another example or lesson or key takeaway I have too is if you're tired or you aren't your kid, your child is right beside you. Don't respond back. Respond back when you're ready to talk, right? Mm -hmm. I think we live in the world of instant message. Ah, I got to get right back to them. And that might result in you quickly saying something that yep. may be for the first interaction or the first few interactions, that isn't what needed to come across. So I would recommend be prepared, have the time to invest, know who you're talking to, get personal, lessen your expectation that this person is going to be an immediate sale and instead think of the opportunity they have to be a part of your tribe mm. either as a client or as a coach. Preach it. Okay? That That's was, what I That was good. That was a good closing. Oh, one last thing. Sorry, I'm going to ruin her closing. <laughs> scripts because everyone oh, talks yeah. about, you know, scripts. I trust me. I followed a script when I when I first started coaching mm -hmm. and I think scripts are, are important because you need a structure that helps with your competence level. Like if, if your upline coach can give you a general script about what to say, I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. But it's got to be authentic yeah. and you got to personalize it. And again, even now with voice notes and yeah. uh, the video messaging that Kim's been doing and we've been doing and stuff. You still need that script, but yeah. man, just speak from your heart. Yeah. And if you have to follow the script, tweak it so it's got some like inflections of you and stuff. Because and break that's, it up. That's break what it up. Purchasing. Do not put these long paragraphs. Yeah. Try to break it up into tiny bite-sized pieces and really talk and marinate through that conversation and just pour into those people because you never know 
who you're serving. They're buying you, not the challenge packs, you guys. Yeah. And they're buying the hope that you can have really, really absolutely. help the painful situation that they're in. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a journey. It's a long one. It is not a quick turnaround. And you've got to be all in, just like your challengers have to be all in. Yeah. And just keep showing up. And sorry, guys, we couldn't see any comments. We'll get to them after. Yes. But uh, hope you found value in that. Yeah. And uh, have an awesome Monday, have everybody. Have a beautiful Monday, guys. Go rock this week.